everyone. This is Outnumbered. I'm Emily Campagno, and joining me today, Ainsley Earhart, Cheryl Cassoni, Katrina Campins, because the, the point remains that no matter what the president starts touting, it's always tone deaf in concept and then tone deaf in to, to cover that year's salary for most Americans. And then you combine yeah. that, Todd, with, for example, in California, where because of the fragility of the grid, you can't even charge your electric vehicle. So what are Americans supposed to do with the hand? Not only they've been dealt economically, but that they are continuing to be, be dealt. Wait for it. American oil and American gas. And so that's where the problem lies. And you said this was tone deaf. This is <laughs> <fun to do. laughs> two, two points, Campania. One, by the end of this hour, I am worried that with these two real estate experts, I'm going to put an offer in on something at some point. We're going to convince you before this is over. But, right? but two, I think you highlight, and we all highlighted something, this transformation that's going on in the electorate. The Democrats have become the party of the wealthy and the elite, and Republicans are becoming the party of the working man. You wouldn't have a Democrat 20 years ago hop in an $87,000 car espousing uh, the virtues of... Couldn't recover. Do you agree, or has our country gotten past that? I think rise being unscathed. I mean, nobody thought about her. There was like, oh, Kamala's there. Oh, she's the next senator. She is this. There was never any lawyer we had in that soundbite was saying because of the location. I would go a step further under the email that that escort was acting aggressively, was the aggressor. So Hawks in a defensive posture, there's no, they want everything to be given to them. And I am a huge proponent of the American dream and immigration because it's the reason I'm here, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm grateful to that, but I do believe that it goes. They've, they've broken the law and now they want to not leave their luxury hotel. Anyway. Uh, that pain for the first meal. So Ainsley, apparently two out of three women offered a pain on Fox News. <laughs> and I just well, want to get close to her. Unfortunately, that's why I don't offer animals more than I like people half the time. I do, I do love to match people up, so maybe I'll set you well, up on if one. Well, <laughs> Way to go on dates. The best. Yeah, because then they know about the guy. I've gotten right, people married. Right, yeah. One of my best friends married, and they have three girls How now. How did I not know this? Oh. Todd, you're awfully quiet. Right. I'm bring you out, Mariano. Oh, I gotta go. Look it up, kids. I know that book. I have it. Here's America reports. Oh, 